Hi, I'm Emily and I'm one of the volunteers for Your Rights at Work campaign. I'll be voting for Your Rights at Work um, against work choices. We've had a lot of support here today from people um, that are voting for Mike Kelly um, and are opposed work choices. Hi, I'm Tarina. I'm here at the Eden Monero booth voting for Your Rights at Work for a change of government. This is the How to Vote card for Ke Kerry Tucker in the Senate and for Meredith, who is Meredith Hunter, who is standing for uh, the lower house. Now, uh, I've got to tell you, she's my daughter, so that's why I'm here doing this for her. Thank you. I'm Andrew Barr, the ACT's Education Minister, enjoying a federal election day here at Ainsley Primary getting into the, uh, uh, the true festival of democracy that is Federal Election Day. A little bit of controversy around, uh, around the system uh, today in that uh, there's been some uh, clear breaches of uh, guidelines and rules in relation to the placing of campaign material on public buildings in the ACT. Uh, so we've had to, uh, to issue a decree in relation to campaign material not being put on uh, government property, uh, in, particularly on schools. Uh, Around fences is fine, but uh, the, the placement uh, inside the, the school grounds, and particularly on school buildings, has led to a considerable amount of controversy uh, this morning. However, um, it's, uh, it's important that, uh, that all parties adhere to, uh, to the rules in relation to uh, keeping away the six metre uh, uh, boundary from, uh, from the polling booth itself, and then also uh, not, not seek to, uh, to damage uh, government property in relation to the placing of campaign material. But otherwise, we're, uh, we're having an interesting and uh, festive uh, season. It's good to see so many uh, school PNCs who are uh, taking the opportunity to raise a little bit of money with uh, such a large amount of traffic going through the, uh, each school. So it's, uh, I think, a great opportunity for them to, uh, to, to raise some money. And so uh, happy coincidence that so many are, are out today on Election Day. There you go. Yeah, I'm Mike Hettinger and I'm uh, uh, one of the uh, Labour Party helpers here for the, uh, for the election and uh, I'm here, I've actually gone from booth to booth uh, trying to help out because uh, I'd like to maximise uh, uh, Labour and Kevin Rudd's chances of getting in. Uh, I think that uh, I'm hoping that there's a very good chance that uh, Labour will romp it in and I'd like to be there to help out. I made this shirt in uh, 2004 and uh, interestingly enough uh, the issue remains the same and I'm hoping that if uh, Kevin Rudd and Labour get in I don't have to worry about uh, wearing this shirt uh, for much longer. Well I just feel that um, for all us people who don't actually want to be continuously involved in a political party, an organization like GetUp just answers what we want. Because we want to be involved. It's very important. And people who say that government is just doesn't matter to them are, are, really should go and live in a country where they can't vote and then they might change their minds. So this is just a grassroots organization.
massive voter, so I've been voting for Kevin Rudd for the Greens. Um, it looks, it's looking very good from what we can see so far. We're from Sydney, we drove down, got here about four o'clock, um, joined the queue outside, uh, and we'll probably drive back afterwards, I think. So, <laughs> yeah, it's good. To, I think it's exciting um, to be a part of the democratic process, to be actually able to see what's going on and be in the centre of it. I think that's a great privilege of being an Australian. So, yeah. Yeah. It could be a sweeping out of the Australian government tonight, that's my prediction. Across the country, it would seem sure it's early days yet, but there's some big swings for Labor that people weren't thinking about, even. And Labor wasn't thinking about uh, some of the seats that look as though they're turning their way, so it definitely looks early as if the shift is on and uh, perhaps it's the East Time Factor and that's why the crowd has rolled up early here and they're cheering. A, a terrific evening. The confidence is growing that uh, we will see Australia taken back as a decent nation, that rights at work will be put back in place, that working people will again have the dignity and respect of knowing that we've got a legislative framework where their work is valued. So confident that we're going to see a decent Australia back in place and absolutely proud of all those working men and women, union members, community people who've turned out and campaigned for more than two years now against work choices. We think it's goodbye Johnny and uh, hello a decent Australia and that's a good thing. Maxine to win in Benelong.
um, Julia couldn't really represent families because they didn't have kids. Well, I was just thinking, like, what if there's some gay people in your electorate, Bill? Just like, like, you don't know what it's like to be gay. But how can you really represent them, Bill? Because, you know, Julia can't represent Ken with kids. It's okay, it's fine. You it's fine what it's like. You want to go and pull your pudding, pull it somewhere else. Well, well, can I pull your pudding just so we can see what it's like and then you can represent mate, mate, gay people in your mate, 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 you are getting very close to the quick. Please to the quick. But could you please leave? You don't, you don't want a quickie? Please just leave. to see what it's like. Okay. I'm very grateful for your expression of support.